I kept it in my office. Um, I saw it every day and eventually I'm like, you know what, I'm going to, my goal is to find the family. Detective Sergeant David Pilgrim was determined to find the owners of this headstone. It's a case he's worked on since 2013 when someone dropped it off at the Rock Falls Police Department. The only information he had was that the headstone was found in the basement of a vacant home. The website had a picture of the new stone that had been put in to replace it. Uh, there was no contact information there. After searching through the website, find a grave, he discovered the gravestone belonged to a family in Pupper Bluff, Missouri. They had no idea or hope that they would ever recover uh, the broken tombstone that ended up in Rock Falls. He called the police department and his answers would lead him to Pupper Bluff, Missouri State Farm agent Eddie Justice. He's the one that really ended up doing all the, the hard lifting and, and finding the family. Justice had an interest in genealogy and after a couple searches. The name of an individual that rang a bell with me here in Pupper Bluff, I knew her son. And so I called him and told him what was going on and he said, yeah, that's my great grandfather. As the headstone travels to Missouri. We still don't know when, why, how it ended up in Rock Falls. We're waiting for it to arrive now, and uh, we're looking forward to getting it back to where it belongs and um, it being a sentimental piece of the history of this family. Proving the power of the web and not giving up paid off. I hope it'll bring a sense of uh, maybe a little peace to the family and to know that they, uh, their history and their, their heritage is still in place. It's uh, case closed and you know who knows what next strange mystery comes up, but. Uh, it's definitely one of the more unique things I've worked on.